Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. A welcome and welcome back everybody else. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I'm very excited because I am doing a haul. I haven't done a haul in a hot minute. You guys seem to love it when I do hauls, so let's do this shit. I nearly said let's do this shit. <laughs> I was meant to say let's do this, shall we? Apparently I need a coffee. Let's do this, shall we? I don't know if you're like me where you go through phases when you don't buy makeup for a little while and then all of a sudden you're like, ooh, need all the makeup. It seems to happen a lot with me and there's a freaking fly. F off. Yeah, I've been to Chemist Warehouse and Priceline mainly on oh, Amcal. Um, they're my three main chemists around here that I go to. I don't go to Priceline all that often, but they have their 50% off cosmetics sale last week. I didn't get too much actually. Um, I might go through that first. I didn't actually get too too much. I've been using and loving this. I don't know if it's how new it is, but it's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. I've actually really been loving it. Um, I think I paid like $12 half price, which is pretty decent. I think it's the, I've got the Lash Exhibition, at Exhibitionist one more than I thought. Um, the silver one, the silver packaging, so I'm not sure which one is newer. Anyway, I, I like this one. I haven't tried these two though. CoverGirl Clean Fresh Healthy Look Pressed Powder. I've got the translucent one. Because I've heard really good things about this powder. I got the concealer. I'm not sure if it's going to suit my skin tone. It does look a, a little dark, but I thought could be good for a first impressions type video. Plus I've got the other concealer, which I am actually using today because I do really like it. And I thought maybe I could do a little comparison between the two. But yeah, that's what I picked up from Priceline. Also, if you're on my Instagram, you get to see everything first because I do photos like literally constantly. So if you want to see what I'm buying, it's usually updated there, either in like Instagram stories or um, on my feed because that's what I do. This is my bago from, I'm going to say cosmetic capital, no, chemist warehouse. Um, I bought a skincare item. I bought the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Apparently they've now brought out a new, what is it, gel to foam one, right, something like that. But anyway, I've heard really good things about this. Yeah, keen to try out that. Bought a couple of W7 things. I haven't bought W7 stuff in the longest time and I love W7, but Australia seems to be really slow in getting it and now I don't really buy W7 on eBay because postage is poo. Like they've upped the postage a lot. This is the W7 Bear All Uncovered palette. Super cute little nude thing. Obviously a Huda Beauty dupe. But how pretty are the shades? Okay, that's that one. I think these were like $10 all uncovered. Yeah. Um, and I've got the Melon Madness palette. They're so cute. Yeah, I might do a little first impressions on that. I haven't played with them. Um, I love that it's a cooler tone palette too. Pop of color. Super pretty. I bought the... Juicy Lashes by W7. The packaging is really cute. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but um, you kind of can. It's meant to look like a watermelon. I think that's just the cutest thing ever. I think this is about five bucks, but I didn't need another mascara, but you know, I've got one. I've got the Glow Prime. Oh, it's Glow Prime. Primer. Um, I almost forgot what I was saying then. But it's meant to the radiant finish, which is what I'm all about lately because I do have quite dry skin. Um, but yeah, maybe I should do a video on the W7 stuff that I've bought. Let me know in the comments below. The last thing I bought, I've been seeing it all over um, YouTube and whatnot, is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation in a powder. I think it's like $19 on special at Chemist, well, Chemist Warehouse, but yeah, I haven't played with this yet, but I'm quite keen to give it a go. I am in the shade 
lemon. Um, ivory. So it's number 20 ivory. I'm hoping that's going to be light enough for me. So also let me know if you want a first impressions on that at all. Makeup here in Australia is like ridiculously expensive. And so like Eddie Brains up L'Oreal, Revlon, um, Max Factor. They're like the higher end for drugstore, which is annoying. But I was happy to get it on. So I think that was everything from Chemist Warehouse. Yeah, all right. Now I'm gonna go on to yesterday's stuff that I've purchased. I went to Ankel and Woolies yesterday, and this is a new brand um, to Woolworths and to me. The Sunday Juicy Pear Whipped Shower Foam with Cacti Plum and Finger Lime. I thought that'd be really cool to try. It was literally like a whipped can, like cream can bottle for it. Um, what about your shower foam? Do so you like a body wash? Okay, how do you use get wet, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, you use it like a body wash, but it's a foaming body wash. I thought that was really cool. It's one special for $13 something, so it's 33% off. So I think these are quite expensive when they're like full price, but I'm excited to give it a go. Apparently cruelty free, vegan and made in Australia. They had two cents. Oh, it's literally got a, okay, I got it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, it's like literally like lip cream. That's hilarious. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, I like that. It's very fresh. Um, pop that in the lid so I don't waste any of it. Super cute. I Okay, this looks already like a mess because I swatched it. But it's the Emco Big Beauty Love palette. Really cute. I haven't used it yet. I've only swatched it. I swatch things on Instagram because that's what I do, people. I picked that up. I love that it's got like face products as well. Put it up for 15 bucks yesterday from Woolies as I keep saying. I'm gonna test that out in the video as well. Last two things I got um, yesterday. I got the new BB Skin Renew Ceramide Pressed Powder because I love the foundation and the um, concealer, I'll link those videos down below if I've done them, I'm pretty sure I have, but yeah, I will be doing a video review on this. I think this is about $15 close to, but it came with a free gift. Um, and the last thing I've got, which I already have a video up on my channel, which I'll also link below, and it's the Nageo Complexion Perfection Foundation Sponge which I got for $5.95. So yeah, that was my not so little haul. Let me know if you're buying anything and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I upload. And yeah, please do subscribe because it does help me out as a small YouTuber. Okay, bye.